Today I am going to do a, an unbox and unboxing, I love grammar, of uh, the Roomba i4. It's available only at Costco, which is fine because who doesn't shop at Costco? Um, before I unbox this baby, uh, I have to give you a point of reference. I am a very devoted Roomba fan. I love Roomba. Um, I only have had one. It is the 770 and this girl is now pretty old. Right there, it's a little ironic that she is currently on carpet because she really doesn't do carpet. I'm excited to see what the differences are and let's have a look. Hey. So um, again, got this at Costco and um, I should note it was, I think, $80 off. So I think the regular price is $349. It is right now November of 2020. Nothing important is going on. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, my, 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 my. All right. The first thing that I noticed when I opened it is the surface of it is really different. Um, it's not that shiny kind like my 770 has. It's sort of um, like a matte finish. I'm hoping that means it won't scratch so easily because the one I'm currently using gets stuck under certain pieces of furniture frequently and scratches and just gets stuck there until it dies and beeps. So we'll see. Not that I don't love her, because I do. I do. Uh, okay, so really sleek design. Really, yeah. Uh, attractive um, and so interesting on the back look at these wheels you know the, the current one I have has brushes which I'll show you in a minute side by side but this is just kind of like reminds me of like a dog toy they're just rubber they're just rubber here's a side-by-side -side comparison of my 770 and uh, the Roomba i4, the biggest difference is those brushes. Um, you maybe could tell I have a dog, a golden retriever, and um, yeah, so those old school brushes, hair really gets caught in them. Apparently the i4 is ideal for homes with pets because hair will not get caught in these. Um, the side brush kind of looks the same to me. We still have that wheel up front. Mine has obviously been well left and used. Perhaps it's seen better days. And we'll get a little vacay now that the i4 is here. Um, yeah, so it says that the high efficiency filter in the i4 will trap 99% of cat and dog allergens. So, um, very interested to see how that works. And just like on the 770 and earlier models, um, there's obviously the power button for it to clean. And then there, here there's a little dot, but you can see that. That is your spot clean button that just cleans up a general area. Um, maybe you spilled something, you need to clean it up real quick, just goes around and around. Um, and then your home button to uh, tell the old girl to go home and charge. So the Roomba i4 has a smart navigation system which uses sensors. I think the one before this, or I don't know, a couple before this used cameras, but this is actually using um, sensors. So there's a sensor right here, the Archon sensor, and then your light sensor is right here in the front. Uh, and it, it allows it, it says, to vacuum hardwood and carpet and is supposed to um, operate in neat rows to clean your home. So that'd be really cool. Focus on the dirtiest parts of your house. Um, you can also see inside the box, we have here a charging station, which is actually very similar to my 770 charging station. And just the cord that goes along with it. User manual in here. Yes, and the warranty guide. You can see in the little start guide all of the steps. If you've already had a Roomba, you'll be familiar with these. Um, 
And one thing I'm excited about is the app, using the um, iRobot Home app um, to control it. That sounds cool, or using it with my Alexa, um, because you know it's a lot of effort to get up and push that button. Finger gets tired. Um, yes, so I'm very excited to see how smart this one is, how much smarter it is than the 770. Let's see how it does on the areas where it usually gets stuck. This space right here is frequently where my 770 gets stuck, and I'm curious to see if the i4 will do the same or, or what she'll do. Let's see. So it looks like it swerved right past that area. Maybe it realized it couldn't clear it. I don't know. Time will tell. So as you can see, the 770 doesn't even pretend to try to vacuum the carpet. The lady's voice just comes on and says, move me. Um, I will say the i4 doesn't seem thrilled about being on carpet. Um, and that is a pretty thick shag carpet. So uh, it's probably not the best way to clean it anyway, but at least she's trying. She's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. She doesn't just go, oh no, can't do it. I'll stop here. Um, so I appreciate that feature for sure. If the battery is low, you're gonna see this red light come on. And uh, if I press it. Low battery, please charge. different is the dirt cup. So to empty the dirt cup, you push on the side here and then pop it open. You can see I've already found some dirt for her. Um, so that's cool. It's a little bit, uh, you can see what it looks like on the inside. There's a little button here. You push this button to open the dirt cup, open it up, and you can empty it. When you're done, you're gonna wanna just push that back in. And then you can put it back into your beautiful i4. And that's that. Overall, um, I really love the appearance of the i4. I think it's very you know modern and sleek and attractive. Um, I am surprised at how much I miss that easy carry handle on the 770. Every time I go to pick this up, I have to use two hands. There's no easy pickup handle. So that's kind of a negative. Uh, however, I do wonder if, you know, because I have to so frequently rescue my 770 from getting stuck on the carpet or getting stuck underneath furniture, if those sensors um, on the i4 work as well as they're supposed to, perhaps I won't have the need to pick it up and move it quite so often and it won't bother me so much. But um, yeah, we'll see. I will post an update after I use it for a couple days. Uh, but there you have it, the Roomba i4. It is available only at Costco. 
And that's cool because you can definitely return it. Thanks, guys.